Hello and welcome to my second tutorial series for Unreal Engine 4. As the ones of you that participated in the voting for the next series might know, this series will deal with a quest system similar to the ones used in popular RPGs like Witcher 3 or World of Warcraft. Before we start with the creation of our project, I just quickly wanted to say thank you to the ones of you that already donated some money to me. And that if you want to do so, please send me a private message on YouTube or leave a comment so I can keep track of the ones who donated money. Also, I want to apologize for the delayed starting of this series. I actually plan to start it on Monday, directly after the voting has ended. But I really wanted to wait for the release of Unreal Engine version 4.14 because there are some new features that I want to explain and use in the course of the series. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start Unreal Engine 4.14 and head over to New Project. For our starting template, we will go to Blueprints and select the third person starting template. Also make sure that you enabled starter content since we will use that and give that some descriptive name. I would just name it Quest Tutorial then hit create project. After your project has opened, directly close it. Because in this video I also want to show you how you can set up a custom character. And for that we will first need a mesh. To add a mesh, you can go to the marketplace and buy some here. Or just search for infinity blade and head over to the infinity blade warriors. If you did not do so already, download the project. After you downloaded it, you can add the Infinity Blade Warriors to your project. However, depending on when you are watching this tutorial, the Infinity Blade Warriors might not be set up for Unreal Engine 4.14 yet, but there is a really easy workaround for that. What you will need to do is just create some kind of project for 4.13, then add the Infinity Blade Warriors to that project. I will just choose my minimap project here. And after you edit them to the project, you can then right click on your project and go to show in folder. Then go to content and here you will have a new folder called Infinity Blade Warriors. Right click on that and cut it. Then go to your Unreal Projects folders, to the folder of your newly created project. For me that will be Quest Tutorial. Here to content and then right click paste it. Now we can start a project again and as you can see we now have a folder called Infinity Blade Warriors with some different characters that we could use. Before we set up our custom character let's actually create a folder structure. So in the content folder right click, create a new folder called Quest System and since we will mostly work inside of this folder you can right click and set the color to something really bright like yellow. Then go inside of the quest system folder, again right click and we will add some folders here. First one we will call blueprints, then we will need some folders for textures, another one for audio and finally one for widgets. The quest system will mostly contain blueprints and widgets so what you can do is right click on your blueprints folder set color to something bluish and to the widgets set color something like a purple so you can notice them more quickly then let's go to our blueprints folder and here we will create a new folder called characters and then go to the third person bp blueprints expand the blueprints folder of a quest system and then drag and drop the third person character onto that characters folder Afterwards select move here, not copy here. So now we've got a third person character inside of that folder. You can then hit compile and S to save. Then let's go to our audio folder and here we will create another subfolder called effects. Then let's actually move our project to the side. Minimize our Epic Games launcher. And I created a folder with some assets that we will use in the course of this tutorial. The download link for that will be in the description. Now we can double click to open that. 
select the icon standard and the level border and drop them onto our widgets folder to import them. Then we will right click under asset actions bulk edit via property matrix go to level of detail set the text tick group to UI and under compression set the compression setting to user interface then hit Control and S to save it. Afterwards expand the audio folder and drag the level up sound to our effects. Afterwards hit Control S again. Now before we proceed let's actually create the main widget because if we close our project while our widgets folder is empty it will be removed when we open the project the next time. So right click, user interface widget blueprint and just call that main widget. We won't make any changes to it yet, so just hit save. And now let's go to our blueprints, characters, third person character. And somewhere up here we will search for event begin play. So on event begin play we will create a widget. That will be the main widget of course. Then promote it to a variable called main widget and afterwards add that to the viewport then connect it to the execution here and we can select all of this hit C to add a comment and call it event begin play just to have it organized. Now that's out of the way and we still have that default SK mannequin character which is pretty boring actually so let's change it problem now is that if we go to our Infinity Blade Warriors characters, you will see that we have many different skeletal meshes, but they don't have animations yet. And to change that, we will use a technique called animation retargeting. What animation retargeting basically means is that you take animations from a different skeleton, in this case the skeleton of a third person character, and apply the animations to another skeleton by defining which bone of the first skeleton equals which bone of the second skeleton. So to do that let's go to our SK mannequin skeleton that is in our Infinity Blade Warriors folder and here under setup rig we will expand it here and select humanoid rig. Now you can see the nodes called root pelvis and the actual bones of the skeleton. Usually you would now have to select all the different bones that equal the name of the node here. But fortunately that is already set up for the Infinity Blade assets. So we can just hit save, close it, then go to our mannequin folder under character, mesh, and here we have the UE4 mannequin skeleton. In here we will select the humanoid rig again Again you can see that all of the bones are actually already set up correctly here so we can hit save, close it, then go to the mannequin animations folder, right click on a third person animation blueprint that contains all of the other animations, retarget anim blueprint, duplicate anim blueprint and retarget. And then you will have to select the SK mannequin skeleton from our Infinity Blade Warriors folder. So select that and you can see that in our target preview here we can see that Infinity Blade mesh appearing. Afterwards we can hit retarget and we can see that all of the assets were now duplicated to our content folder and applied to the Infinity Blade skeleton. Now we can hit control save. Let's actually select the third person NMBP here, rename that to warrior underscore NMBP just for clarification. Then select all of the assets here and move them to our Infinity Blade Warriors folder. We still need to use that mesh and the animation blueprint. So to do that go to our blueprints, characters, third person character and here head over to the viewport then select the mesh here and now for the skeleton mesh you can choose any of the different meshes from the Infinity Blade assets. For example the Frost Giant or Golden. 
whatever you like, but I will use a mesh called sk underscore charm underscore standard. Then I also noticed that they're a bit smaller than the actual top-down character, so for the scale, check the lock here, which means that when we modify one of these, for example x, y and z will change according to that. Then you can type in 1.1 for x and we basically enlarge it by 10% with that. Then we also have to make our character use that animation blueprint. So under anim class here, select the warrior underscore animbp and now he's idling as he should. The thing that I would like to change as well is the camera boon here because I think that the camera is set up just a bit too close to the actual character. So I will select the camera boon and increase the target arm length for that, which basically means the distance from our character to the camera. Uh, so I will just set it to 500, compile, save, close it, and then we could select new editor window for playtesting here and see our character walking around, jumping, and falling. Alright, that's it for the first episode of the Quest System series. To sum it up, we created our project, imported some assets, and set up a custom character to use, so that in the next video we can add an experience system to our project before we continue with adding the real Quest system. See you in the next episode.